Yo, what's going on guys? Nocturne is probably the strongest jungler in the game right now. He's extremely easy to autopilot on and still get insane carry potential all from this one item. Experimental Hex Plate, only 3000 gold, loads of AD, attack speed, and health. Most importantly, it gives you 30 ability hits for your ultimate and after you are, you get 35% attack speed and 15% bonus, 15 bonus movement speed for 8 seconds. So it's perfect for Nocturne R. On top of that, top wall is fat as heck, so diving top lane takes longer and is harder and ganking mid is harder because of this fat wall, but with Nocturne it doesn't matter because of his R, <laughs> the distance that he can get with it. I kind of wanted to gank for my bot lane. I figure their Garen's going to be extremely defensive and submissive. It's going to be hard to gank him at all. For the most part as a jungler, I recommend starting top side, pathing towards bot side because bot lane's easier to gank than ever. Meanwhile, mid and top for most junglers is much more challenging. Unless you, you're playing a jungle champion that can go through or over walls, Ganking top and mid is definitely a lower percent play these days because once again this fat wall slows you down. You can't really get behind them efficiently there. Same thing with the mid lane. So we are going to be going for experimental hex plate into Eclipse. Eclipse is also extremely cost effective right now. It gives you loads of AD, ability haste, and then a shield and some max health damage at a very low price. It's nerfed on range champions. I think it's still worth it on some range champs, but uh, it is primarily a melee champ item at the moment. For range champs, the shield and the max health damage is nerfed on it. I still find success with how strong it is. I think they're going to have to tone it back to 50 or 60 attack damage for the price. I think 70 is just too much. After we have Hex Plate and Eclipse, we, third item typically will be Black Cleaver because it makes us really tanky and still gives us a lot of great stats. Doing a Leashless, <clears throat> not the end of the world for a jungler like Nocturne. His level 3 gank's inconsistent because he's slow and doesn't have a good gap closer. Sure, our Q's are speed up and once they're feared, we move 90% faster into them. But getting to them to even get in range to use E is... Not very consistent to say the least. Go ahead and smite this guy. Doing a leashless full clear off of blue buff. We should be finishing somewhere around 325 ish. Looks like we're able to do a 321. I would count this as done because I'm already walking away. I'll go for this. Nice. She gets it. We get him with an E. Try to run him down. Auto Q. I waited till my fear went off to Q. That way I knew I couldn't miss it. Nice, just trying to set that up for her so she can push, reset, get her health mana back as efficiently as possible. Perfect time for us to back Graves' top side. I'm not even gonna stay for Scuttle. Let's get as much of Hex Plate as we can. Tunneler's super, super strong. We have Oracles as well. Q for the speed up. Beautiful. Flash is good on Nocturne. I wouldn't use it though unless they have cage champions like Jarvan, York, or Vigar. This ghost, 15 seconds of speed up on a minute and a half shorter cooldown than Flash is a no brainer as a jungler. Grace took Scuttle. He's probably going to stay for the other Scuttle as well. I'm fine with that. I've already backed and I'm going to be clearing way faster than him with my item advantage. His bot side's gonna be up. I think that's where he started. He pathed into the top lane gank, which was actually successful gank for, ganking for Garen of all people. I think I could do wolves, wraps, maybe invade them on his wolves. Probably best to just stick to ganking their bot lane. Although Nocturne's solo fight potential is extremely good because of his high damage and fear, plus blocking one of their abilities with W. He doesn't have the sticking power before he has his ultimate. Like, even if we get on him, he'll just jump over a wall. Katarina hasn't backed yet. This is looking like possible play. The wave's coming in. That'll make things tricky. Oh, it's warded too. That was a good ward placement. All right, if Scuttle's gone, that's fine. This guy hasn't even backed yet. That's crazy, he's gonna get eaten up. Got him. Oh, dude, if that had connected, my lethal tempo is maxed out here. Oh, this is kind of bad. 
Got him with an E. Got it. Graves is low. I have item advantage on him. We throw out Q. He's going to go for Scuttle. Down he goes. That was really, 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 really good for us. Could probably take Dragon off of it. Ah, it's greedy. It's greedy. The thing is, if I was full health, and if Nautilus wasn't hovering, but he, he can slow us down massively. If I was full health, I still probably would have done it, but... Graves, Cata just spawned. They're going to have base speed up from their deaths. We didn't have enough time. If they were still respawning for like 8 seconds, it's possible. Ocean Dragon is also extremely risky because every auto attack slows you. I think the Void Bugs give you roughly half a level at level 5. They don't give you that much gold. They give you a bit of XP. They give you extra damage on your auto attacks. Against turrets. Got Noon Quiver. Can't really afford boots. That's fine. You don't really need boots with this item rush. You get 15% bonus movement speed per 8 seconds after using R. Like, we're still going to get boots, but we're not going to be feeling the huge downsides of not having boots that most champions would feel. Even at 6, it's whatever. And then pull this out. Find a good angle. If he stays for play, I'll chop him up. Get behind this launch queue through. We'll wait for our queue to come up a little bit. And here we go. We can launch E in midair. Try to fear him the other way. I blocked that with my spell shield on W. Blocking that with the spell shield on my W gave me a bunch of extra attack speed. Pantheon should go mid here with his R. I've already shoved his wave. He's not going to miss minions off of it, but Garen's going to miss minions assuming he doesn't have TP. So Graves goes to catch the wave like a goofball, showing himself on the map for a single minion wave. Don't know about that one. Kata's wave's coming in long style, so we got to watch out for her jumping to minions. Uh, we'll wait for them to crash and go horizontal. All right, here we go. Got Ghost on. We'll go ahead. Uh, w it a little early, not going to lie. That's all right. Wave's pushed. There's two top, two bot right now. Kata dead will stay. Got some lethal tempo stacks as well. Shred this down. So Kata misses minions. I should get a full minion wave here as well, I think. In situations where you're depriving your laners of CS, you shouldn't do this. But he, my laner's not missing anything, and Kata's going to miss the majority of this. So instead, we're being time efficient with what we're absorbing, with where we already are. This is essentially what's going on. We're getting crazy far ahead. As long as we don't die. Now, if you're doing this stuff, see, you see how she's missed a bunch of minions plus cannon? If you're doing this and then I go off and die and give them my shutdown bounty, then it's a little more dicey. My R's up here in a second. We'll run straight bot side. Pathing into bots also good as a jungler because it's the only lane that you really hit level 6 before. So this is basically where we want to be. Huh. We have double control wars and they're still positioning pretty safe. Whatever. We'll go for Krugs. I want to stay close. I'm not going to use my E because things are volatile over here. We'll go ahead, hit red buff, see if we can do something mid. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. I'm surprised Pantheon's dying so much solo. Garen Stridebreaker is terrifying. Stridebreaker is not only an AoE slow now, it's also a speed up for the person using it. Alright, I gotta get over there. We don't want to press R until they're well within range. Twitch just become visible. We'll R her, get her with an E. She flashed out to break my fear, essentially. My She broke my chain, so I couldn't get off the fear and I ended up missing Q. Getting her flash for my R is really good though. My R is less than a two minute cooldown. Her flash is a five minute cooldown. Get her with the fear. Oh, that's annoying. I panicked. I should have. I should have stuck to my guns. I thought Twitch was here with not with the uh, Nautilus. That's my bad. That's on me. I don't think we can really dive this guy. It's not worth it. He's really tanky. I don't have armor. 
I mean, Recon has got a little bit. I'd rather just take this stuff. Ooh, Graves is here. He's full of Yomus. That's scary. I need to spend my gold. I assume he already used his Yomus active, so he should be pretty slow. Moving 340. That's high base movement speed for a range character. Throw out the Q. It misses. We use W to try to block Nocturne Empowered Auto from his passive, so he doesn't root me in place. We end up getting the kill on Graves there. That's really good. <coughs> I have Ghost, so I certainly could stay here. All right, yeah, I'll stay. Holding on to my E to possibly get the rat, smite him, slow him down. Pop him with a Q. I kind of want to play around my abilities here a little bit. She almost got me. Speed up away from the Twitch on my trail. You can use your R like an auto reset. So if you auto R, auto, auto, R type of thing. It is bonus damage. I just didn't think I needed it there. Got Hex plate. Their team is very physical damage oriented. Only Katarina is the real AP. We'll go for plated. Second item, Eclipse, because it's way too cost effective. It's hard not to build. We shouldn't have two controllers. That was a mistake. I muscle memory bought that. Could ghost there potentially <laughs> to get in range for R. Silas is so balanced, dude. 1v2, he almost wins that. Nice for Con Charm. Nautilus is doomed here. Yep. We go for Dragon off that. Catamite show up mid. Yep, there she is. Speak of the devil. I don't think that worked and see me from here. I was hugging wall. Her minis are coming in long ways, so I can't really R on her here. She'll jump out. All right, we'll walk her down, then we'll burn R. Q early. Now we'll R, E, W. We didn't want to use it early. We're already moving really fast. She doesn't have boots. I have tier two boots. We can walk her down. I didn't know that as a matter of fact, but I could tell intuitively that I was moving faster than her. So I was willing to run her down and force, force out her options, her dash options. That way I could connect smoothly with my R and Nautilus I'll ghost smite him hey Twitch got it yeah it's tricky you still got a lot of HP's the thing it's gonna be hard for us to dive that maxed out lethal tempo super scary I hope he does it. <laughs> he won't. He won't. He knows. Let's stick around for Eclipse. <sighs> Can't do anything. He's too tanky. I think they think they're pinching me is what's going on. Oh, he's getting vision down for drag. That's what it is. My R is up. I have experimental on Hexplate. Twitch should be here any second. I'll wait for Twitch. That's what we'll do. Graves is on the other side of the map as well. Okay, he shows bot. I'm glad he showed bot instead of roaming mid. And now he dies. R, E mid midair, auto Q. We didn't need to use W, didn't even need to use Smite. We ping out the turret and dragon, give Caitlyn some options. She's left with something to do. We might as well push the way since I'm already there. I got maxed out lethal tempo. We can take it really quickly. This guy is obsessed with warding dragon. He can't do anything about it anyways. Graves already showed top and Twitch is dead. He, he put himself and his life on the line for a... For like a statement word. <laughs> Zero utility word, all statement. It's time to reset for Eclipse. I think Nocturne is strong enough. You should be pick and banning him across pretty much every elo, especially Iron through low diamond. He's too consistent with full clear into gank. Hit level 6, win the game for free. Particularly with uh, the mid wall edition, top wall edition. He can gank mid and top better than most junglers with his R's huge, huge range. 
go Eclipse and a Cleaver. <clears throat> R is on a 75 second cooldown, a little over a minute. I can't really catch up to that without my R. I think Silas can handle that. He doesn't need me to be there. I'll just be moral support at that point. Down goes Kata. This game's completely wrapped up unless I die and give him a thousand gold. They don't have very good tools for dealing with me. The best of ban is actually Nunu. The Nunu snowball on E completely counters Nocturne out. He ends up snaring you. You can't really spell shield it because Nunu throws nine individual snowballs at a rapid fire pace. And a singular one of those nine snowballs completely scrapes your W shield. So makes Nunu a, a very annoying champion to deal with it, to where if Nunu has the bigger back line on his team, he pills and wins by default. Would recommend the Nunu ban. Going R in on that. So look how fast he died. Turret's hitting me the whole time and I only take that much damage. I'm still above half health. Turret's so freaking useless at this point, man. Eclipse shield plus a green jungle item shield equals I'm more than half health after like four or five shots. We're behind the Garen. I show top side on their minions as they pass. Their whole team's bot side though. Garen's one full item, I'm two full items. I can scrap it. This is warded. I think I saw it as I stepped in the bush. <clears throat> I think we kind of need to just hit the turret. I don't think we can really kill this guy. Yeah, go for their minions, buddy. I'm on go, so good luck to them. Blocked it with spell shield, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just in case Garen flashed that wall. Hey friend, you're dead. Well played. <laughs> well played, my guy. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and push this wave since we're already here. Oof. Got it, just barely. <laughs> Dude, if that doesn't make them FF or get salty, I don't know what will. Eclipse Shield plus Green Jungle Item Shield once again. She's a full item too, she couldn't pinch. I don't even have Magic Resist. I have uh, played Steel Cap Armor. Bunch of goofballs. After Black Cleaver, pretty much anything that gives attack damage is good on you. Just depends on what will give you the most value. Black Cleaver is incredibly stable third item rush for Nocturne. Let's see if blue buffs up. Since we have our jungle item finished, whenever we take a buff, it gives it to our whole team. The buff aspect, not the gold or the experience. So it's still nice when your teammates don't steal your buff. We get extra XP through jungle item. Dragon up in 55. I might as well reset. We're sitting on a full item here. They're playing near a turret, a large group of them. There's no reason to force a fight. We got a turtle on the fire. It's still hiding in its shell. There's no rush. Just let them cook. Things will heat up and they'll have to start moving away from turret. If they don't, we'll have Draxel and they can try to fight us underneath their turret if they want. <laughs> As we take all their camps and everything as well. Hey, friend. You eat, trying to block off his hook. Could not do it. Hey, Graves. Spell shielded it. He's got a uh, red buff hitting me. It's kind of annoying. You really have to get to the backside of Nautilus. Otherwise, he'll just hook to something. Let's go ahead and take Dragon. I don't think you can block Dragon autos with your W anymore to get the extra attack speed. So I'm not going to. They changed that at some point. Kata's rage split pushing. She can't really solo anyone on our team except for Caitlyn or Rakan. Her split pushing does very little for their team. Even Pantheon should be able to solo her. Hey, Kata. 
Yeah, I don't know where she thinks she's gonna go. Close fight, my guy. EWQ. R is ready. And it is less than a minute cooldown. <laughs> Holy crap. Once it's max, it'll be at a 45 second cooldown right now, even with these items. Lost vision right when I pressed R. That sucks. That's really, really unfortunate. Oh, this is too many people. This is way too many people. I gotta wait for my eclipse shield here. Hey, Twitch. Down you go, buddy. I'm still moving fast off Ghost Gun. gonna have trouble running to me there. Clip shield is 241 right now. Not bad. Jungle item shield is 240. All right. <laughs> I have... Uh, okay, 265 and 240. So that's a 500 shield. Not bad. Not bad at all. Rounding up the camps. Don't really want to start Baron with just Rakan. It'll take us too long. It'll leave us vulnerable. Want to have at least Caitlyn there when we go to do it. Whoever's tanking it does half damage. The primary person Baron's focusing. Next item from here. I don't need Ma because it's just Kata and she's behind. So I would say probably Guardian Angel so I don't throw my shot down gold. If they five man focus me. Or even a Stride Breaker for the huge speed up it gives. Slows them and speeds me up. Hey friend. Get him with Eden midair. We need to go for the Twitch. He's going to be doing a lot of the damage. Ooh, apparently Graves is chunking me, though. Well played to Graves. Did think he had that type of damage. It's two items with plated. Twitch still did almost as much damage as him, even though we killed Twitch first. So maybe focusing Twitch was the right move. I don't know. It's probably because his lethal tempo versus Graves' fleet lets Twitch shred harder through the keystone. Awkward fight for sure. I needed to, if I had the option, I don't remember. I probably did, though. Needed to play around my minions. Anything that Grace can auto, you can use to block his autos. Since he's got the only autos in the game like that. They get stopped. So if I could get behind my minions and still auto them, I'd definitely win that. Sundered Sky is incredibly good with Eclipse. We could run that instead of Stride Breaker. Let's do that. Grab another Tunneler. We'll sell this, grab this. We'll go for Farsight. Farsight sucks on most characters. Nocturne, if you have a character who's got like a semi-global R, it's pretty nice. Xurath or Nocturne, it's pretty decent. He's one full item, we take this. Dragging up 1 minute 30. By Twitch. Q, Q E midair. My Q did not quite connect. He flashed. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, well played to me. There's a goon squad of three of them just stacked in the freaking jungle. Holy moly. Played it, played it, played it as well. That's my bad. I just bled away 2,000 gold with two mistakes. Big reason why you can't do that in League. Two mistakes is 2,000 gold. If someone's behind and they make two mistakes, it's less than 400 gold. You're not even worth 300 gold when you're just dying a lot. Unfortunate. I still have shut down on my head too after all that. Gotta play, play around objectives. Keep cooking the turtle in its shell. I went into their jungle without knowing where the bulk of them were. Because I can kill any two of them solo. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But three, it's too much. Especially if three of them are the plated still cap abusers. The item's way too strong. 12% reduced damage from auto attacks. When they're already reducing probably close to half the damage already. There's Ratatouille. We take Dragon. They're still focused on kills. They're not even really thinking about objectives. On Q, we have 400 attack damage, 25 minutes in. Oh my goodness. 
a lot of AD. Crit might not be a bad stat to have if there's a crit item that matches with Nocturne's kit. Honestly, a raw infinity edge wouldn't be bad. Like final item or maybe even a shield bow if you don't want to go for sterics. Infinity edge is a really high priced item. 3300 gives the stats to back it up. Hey, Garen, well played, buddy. It's time for me to put some pain on you. Nice. <laughs> Want to kill him with autos. No Q required. R is a 43 second cooldown. Cool. Can use it more than once per minute. And I get 35% bonus attack speed and 15% bonus movement speed when I use it. Beautiful. I really hope they don't nerf Nocturne. I hope they... They probably will nerf Nocturne because the thing is they want people to be able to build experimental on a hex plate. Although it's way better on Nocturne than it is on really any other champion at the moment. So they, if they... <laughs> unless they want to just remove the item altogether, they'll basically have to nerf Nocturne. That's sad. Bring him more in line. So tricky about having overpowered items. There's going to be some champion that works way too well with it while the others are just reasonable with it. I don't know why Katarina thinks she can do that. She thinks she can do whatever she wants. Can wrap this up right here. Got him with the fear. I all are for that, buddy. Whoa, my Q was a double. Rakan, get out of the turret. It's too much action here with the turret and <laughs> doing all the damage. All right, Garen outplays me with the R button. Doing 1,300 true damage. <laughs> Why does his Garen R do more than a third of somebody's health? I've noticed that on every champion since it's percent based damage. A third, Over a third of your health and true damage is wild. Wait, what was I building again? Oh yeah, Sundered Sky. That's right. Let's look at the damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, enemy champions, we're number two behind Silas. Feels bad, but still number two nonetheless. Damage taken, most in the game. I guess because I was dying a lot there at the end. Self mitigated. Decent amount. We were technically number two behind Garen by a little bit. Not bad, not bad. And for runes, high value. All in all, Nocturne's power spike doesn't have a lot of counterplay at six. It's always been that way. Experimental hex plate. Uh, highlights that better than any other item you can take on him right now. It's a no-brainer. Run experimental hex plate, eclipse, cleaver. Items after that are pretty dang situational. If you guys enjoyed this Nocturne video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.